Imagine this. You feel dejected and worthless. You're always tired, but also panicked. It's gotten to the point where you're just numb. You search up the electronic interweb for what's wrong with you because you now have feelings that you wish you didn't exist anymore. You fill out an online questionnaire and it tells you you may have something called severe depression. You dismiss that report though. You're privileged. You, you, you have so much. Other people have it worse than you. Google tells you to see a doctor, but you put it off for weeks and months. Your friends, family, colleagues, they all begin to notice something off with you. Meanwhile, your favorite line to them is, oh, I'm just tired, that's all. You make it to the doctor's somehow. The doctor gives you a questionnaire to fill out. Turns out that questionnaire was the same one you did all those months ago. And your doctor suggests maybe you should start taking these antidepressant drugs. Which one? It's just trial and error. Just flip a coin, pick that one. Oh, and you may feel side effects like nausea, insomnia, increased fatigue, and because you're under 25, you may also feel increased suicidal ideation. All of that for a few weeks before you have a chance of feeling better. The doctor ushers you out and tells you to book another appointment in a month's time. You chuckle as you swipe your card to pay for an appointment you can't afford and to go pick up your prescription with your lunch money. At least one of the drug side effects is weight gain. You're back at your doctor's after a month, still feeling the same awful, but at least you're feeling nausea and fatigue. The doctor suggests maybe you should try another drug. Which one? I don't know. Flip the coin. Uh, you shrug and you give it another try, wondering what the point is. This experience that I've just outlined has happened to millions of people around the world. Depression affects over 300 million people globally and current treatments only tend to work in several weeks. And don't forget that feel worse before you might feel better. But what if, what if you go to your doctors but they decide to run a brain scan and the results from that brain scan show your medial prefrontal cortex and your posterior cingulate cortex is hyperactively connected like shown and because of that your brain is predisposed to rumination, excessive rumination and because you have this subtype of depression, this biomarker, it means you have the best chance of recovery using this particular therapy and this therapy, it takes a few days to work rather than several weeks. My clinical trial, where we image the brains of 40 depressed people, I give them a drug called scopolamine, and I watch them get better within the next few days. That's what my research is about. Thank you.